Hello, this is DreamlineStudio.com, and what we're going to talk about today is how to modify a Flash website, an existing Flash website that's already built. Um, we get a lot of questions about how do you modify a template um, once it's purchased, and we're going to go through a couple things that may help you out. Um, first things first is um, um, there's really two two elements to a site, uh, two main uh, panels to a flash site or actually a flash interface when you buy a template is you're gonna have your your timeline here um, and you're also gonna have your stage which is right below the timeline. Now sometimes when you buy a product um, there's seems to be nothing there uh, don't let that fool you. All that means is that your timeline is set at uh, 1. And what you generally need to do is grab the slider, grab the slider, and move it across the timeline. When I do that, things are going to start to appear. So I'm at frame uh, 23. I'm going to move it down this way. Uh, as you can see, you're going to start to see elements um, on the stage. So the first thing to do is just move the uh, the slider across um, and and watch the elements um, come to place okay sometimes when you do buy a flash template there's only one frame and there's nothing there so what I do what I like to do is actually get into the heart of the template you can modify it go through the timeline and then once you see uh, the image on stage, you can actually double click and start modifying graphics. You can uh, take that out and then go to um, file um, import to stage and uh, you know and start looking for for graphics on, on your uh, you know your local computer. Okay, you can do it that way. Um, there's nothing wrong with editing through the timeline. Um, but I think um, it would be just a tad easier if you start modifying templates um, going through the library. So what I do is to access the library, I go to Window, uh, Library, or Control-L. And all of a sudden, you're going to see a bunch of these elements in your Flash library. And this is all, this is just this is everything that's in the site. Okay, um, I'm using um, a Flash CS3 Professional, um, but um, I believe in Flash 8, I believe it's called Kind. Um, this one's called Type. What I do immediately is I click on this button. And what that does, the Type button, uh, or Kind, what that does is organize everything um, for you. So you have your JPEG standing alone, and then you, it puts all the buttons together for you. you got your buttons, and then it, it keeps your, your folders um, just all organized, and also some extra movie clips right in here. Okay, so what I, what I do is basically, um, when I have uh, someone buy one of our products, I usually tell them, okay, open up the flash library and start looking around you know look at the different um, elements to the site you know compare what's in your library compared to um, what the site looks like and the quick way of, of uh, looking at your site is buying by going to control test movie okay it's testing all right, I'm gonna turn off the music here. Uh, but here's main one, main two. I'm click on these different buttons and see what uh, what each thing does, uh, and so forth. And then compare that to what's actually in your library. And you're gonna start seeing, okay, there was the link for that site. And um, you can double click, for example, if you want to change the text for closed window to something else. You can double click on that, and when you do that, um, you're going to start to see it on the uh, on the stage. Let's see, bring this up. 
closed window right there. Um, then you can double click on it and just leave it at close if you want to or just add your own text. And I did that all by just going into the library and finding out um, which, uh, uh, which aspect of the template um, it belongs to. Um, that is pretty much the best way to go in there and modify what's already there. Um, so me personally, I use a combination. I use a combination of um, going through the, the timeline, figuring out what's there, and then also the, the uh, library method. Um, when, you're, when you're done making your modifications, um, just simply go to um, File, Save As, and uh, save it as um, uh, your, basically your, your file. Save. Um, then what I do after that, immediately after that, um, I could go to, um, I can embed it automatically into an HTML file by choosing uh, file, um, uh, publish, uh, publish preview, and choose HTML. Okay, what that will do is, um, is create a uh, HTML um, for that. Let's test the movie. Okay, I'll save as. So that's pretty much it. Um, basically, uh, again, there's just two ways of, of modifying your template is by going through your timeline, by uh, so dragging this across uh, through your timeline. Um, and then also by going to control, um, I'm sorry, window, uh, library, and pulling up your library uh, panel, and by uh, checking out these, uh, these elements. Uh, one other thing that I forgot to mention is, uh, it's actually a really important method, is um, once you see an image, like for example this, this, obviously this, is a part of uh, the main header. Um, so what I do to modify that is I right click on the image, click on properties, and um, at this point you can uh, you can import a replacement. But make sure that um, the pixel size is roughly the same, or actually the same. So what I do is if I want to replace this graphic just go to into Photoshop and make a graphic that's 770 by 203. Okay, once you've created that graphic, uh, save it somewhere on your computer and then choose import. Okay, once you choose import, you can select your image and replace it. Uh, and they will, uh, once you once you choose, let me, let's try that. Let's import an image. Um, this is probably not going to look right. But uh, basically, it's, it will automatically repra replace the image that was already there. So that's pretty neat as far as replacing images. Um, text is, uh, you know, it's super simple. Uh, link 4, you double click on the button. And then if you look on the stage, you're going to see that indeed link 4 is down there. Double click again, and uh, you can change it to whatever you want pretty simple stuff. That's basically the overview of actually accessing uh, the certain parts of the Flash website. Um, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Enjoy.